Hello there, you legends. Welcome back to the channel with me, Bucky Gaming, and we're back on another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to slap that subscribe button, smash the like button if you enjoy what you see. That would really be appreciated. So, yeah, after last episode, we left it here. The sorting hat put us in slivery. Not complaining. Um, before I played the game, I was gonna go one of the other factions, the other houses, which don't get too much publicity in the films. But considering the sorting app put us in slithering, I thought we'll carry on with it. We'll go along with it. So yeah. We are here in Slithering! Yay! Oh my god! Oh my. <laughs> right, stop it. Okay, let's go see what the next mission has in store for us. Find your common room. I suppose some introductions are in order. Professor Howell is carrying... Uh, tour... No, introduce yourself to Emelda. Introduce yourself to Ominous. Introduce yourself to Sebastian. Uh, who's over here? Let's have a look at this guy here. This must be Sebastian. It is. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Uh, it was terrifying, it was exciting, but it's terrifying. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Okay, uh, what were you reading, shall we ask? Yeah. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Okay. What do you mean? Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. Ha <laughs> ha. That is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Okay. Awesome. So not every spell you can find at Ogwood, so it looks like we're going to master some of the dark spells, maybe? Uh, right, next two are over here. Let's go speak to this if one first. Who's You'll this? Imelda. Okay. Me. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here. Watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Stop. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Ah, okay. We had it handled. I wish you had been there. Shall we be polite? I wish you, wish you were there. Yeah, Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Okay. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Uh, you seem to know a lot about wizard chess. Do you fly a lot? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Okay. You seem to know a lot about wizard chess. Are you That's a awesome. keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Okay. Farewell then. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Imelda. 
Uh, last one. Ominous. I, I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Is he blind? It doesn't look as though he's looking at me, so maybe he's lost his eyesight. Uh, I do like to make an entrance memorable, more like terrifying. So well, just... if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Uh, did you suspect you'd be in Slytherin? Do mermaids often appear in Were That's you expecting it. to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Okay, do mermaids often appear outside the common room? Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Okay. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? I'm here. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. All right, okay. On me way. Hello. We've got to go up. Going up. Yeah, let's go have a tour around Hogwarts. Woo. Oh, it oh, moves. I was going to say, check this guy out. Nice. Here she is. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Ooh, nice. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Okay. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps so, seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Yeah, I take Walk it, with me it's and me. We shall put it to the Inventory test. and all that, I'm guessing. This way. This way. I don't know if it's me, but my character when he talks seems to... I have... certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. A slight echo. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities Whoa. to practice your magic and educate oh, yourself so the about snakes wizarding the floor. lore. Oh, I see. Nice. Do keep up. I'm trying. I'm trying. Sorry. I'm just uh, admiring the view. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Uh, Revelio. 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 Uh, the statue just depicts 
the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long manned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Ah. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appear here. Uh, field guide challenges are the only way to require experience points and XP. Uh, okay, this is your wizarding level XP from challenges and crucial level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenge menu to continue. Uh, collecting your first guide page unlocks new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select the field guide pages to continue. Okay. Collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts. So I've done one. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete, from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenge menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Okay. I'm sure I'll get used to that eventually. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Put me one way. Yeah, so look, that's, this is a snake here, look. Ah, oh, crazy. I like that. I like that. Interesting to know what the other houses have for their dorm entrances. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. The oh, okay. field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Uh, you've discovered flu flames, fast travel points. You can open the map at any time, fast travel to the flu flames. Okay. So I take it this is that diagonal alley. <laughs> diagonal alley. <laughs> uh, right, okay, so. Um, grand staircase. Is it these flags that I can... In this view, you'll see flu flames available in that region. Ah, okay. Green flu flames represent flames you've discovered, including your own house common room. Grey flu flames reveal locations of undiscovered flames. So... Travel. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Okay, Central Hall. Always nice. something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh, thank you, Professor. Can you tell me more about Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Awesome. What exactly is Defense Against the Dark Arts? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Okay, what's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only 
Visiting all Wizarding Village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. Yes. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Okay. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh, there is a fact, I'm afraid there isn't. There is. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Oh, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Here Speak he is. of the devil. Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. Awesome. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Yes, we do. We need to go to Hogsmeade. Right, talk to Professor Dick. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? No. Uh, I hope I didn't say she too much. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. Uh, you can track available quests from the map of a map. Uh, this represents main quests. Oh, okay, complete your main quest with further the story, unlock new features and grant XP. So quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In case you will need to require level or the required level spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor assignments or as quest rewards. Okay, uh, uh zoom, rotate. So we can't really explore the map just yet. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. 
Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay, I'm pretty excited. Quest complete. Welcome to Hogwarts. Charmed compass, new item unlocked. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for your class. Can't wait, learns new stuff. Uh, so, also, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Great start already, I can't even get out the bloody hallway. Can we go out these doors? <laughs> no. Oh, we decides. No! Thank you. What do we have out here then? Dobby! It's Dobby! Where's it gone? Where'd Dobby go? Dobby! Where do we go? Uh, so we've got a cat wandering around. Does the cat disappear? Hello, uh, kitty cat. I could talk to the cat. Oh, we can strip the cat. Oh. Awesome. Uh, oh, we got to attend the class. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, look. Uh, so, uh, do we get across the, the owl? Is that my owl? You my owl? Uh, I'm guessing this is going to be a quest, similar to what Fig did with that bridge, where he repaired it. Awesome! Absolutely awesome. This game is so good. That had a blue glow on it. Okay, let's go. Ah, the doorway here. So I was going the right way. Upstairs, to the left, to the right, upstairs. Oh, well then weird things. Quest, begin! <laughs> You've got. Uh, oh, so. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. 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 A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? <laughs> One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay. Uh, said you want, yeah, I've done this before, so. Uh, uh, oh, no! Oh! Just got away with that! <laughs> Levioso! Levioso! Now, let's try something a little larger. Okay. 
Let us begin with the basic cast. Uh, perform of two. Oh, la uh, uh. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent. <laughs> now, oh. well done. Yeah. Yeah. Every, get up <laughs> Hurt it? Do we keep going? Keep going? Hurt it? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This is a Harry Potter moment. Uh, Lucky. Boom. Nothing lucky Boom. about Boom. This will Boom. not be your first duel. Let's just say <laughs> I'm a quick learner. Stupid. Oh, kicking your ass, Sebastian. Enjoy a lively duel. Wing. <laughs> not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> You're a loser. Le I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Yay. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing. But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Okay, oh, first class right. done. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Hey! Hey, you! Let me go. <laughs> hey, you! Oh. I want to pick somebody up. Okay, let's go speak to the swallow guy. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Uh, I've had my fair share of one combat. It was. Never used me one in combat before. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization. Uh, sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Okay, will do. Till next time. You know, you know, I'll get caught. Hey, trophy earned. First class student. Another adventure, are we? Who said that? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who was that? Ah, oh, it was you. Okay. Uh, go to charms class. Where's charms class? Upstairs. How do I go upstairs again? Let's go this way. I can drink some tea. 
Hey! Thank you, Mrs. Kettle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way! Because now you won't be getting any of her goose and gooseberry pie! Ha! <laughs> As if the Addy Baron. Oh man, that was funny in the films. <laughs> okay, so we need to go up again. Have I just come from up here? Who, sir? Someone just flew past me. I'm sure someone just flew past me. Oh. Why is he trying to grab me? Somebody! Oh, what are you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, two cats. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. 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 Man, this is absolutely awesome. Tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily. Okay, so we go in there. Give me two seconds. I just want to go. If I could undo all that happened that day, I would. Ah! Can you talk about this. The ghost is in trouble. <laughs> Werewolves, the goblins, the werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister of Magic was Albert Boot. Ravenclaw no, it students. Wasn't. <gasps> oh, okay. what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. Okay. Like I said, this is absolutely awesome. So much to explore. I've just noticed stood on the cat. I'm sorry, cat. Right, let's go into the charms class. See what we learn in here. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> now we Welcome are. to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? No, I don't know. Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mmm. <laughs> My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? No. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay, ready, go! 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 Yay! Akio! Akio! Nice! That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion 
outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Let's go. We're going outside. Yeehaw. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Eh? Oh, why? Eh? Why me? Can you show me what to do first, please? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Accio, now uh, think of this. That's it! Oh, I see. So you have to let go of it. 50! 50 points! Straight away! Yeah! I've got to do this. Alright, okay. Hello. Excellent control there. Don't go off. Don't go off. Don't go off. Stop. Stop. Go on. There we go. 150. Very good. Points to Slytherin. Yes. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Game on. Ready? Just get in. Court rules. When's it back to? Ah, my, my two. Right, oh, okay. Ready? Don't go off, don't go off, don't go off. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Too early. Too early. Too early. Nicely done. What? Damn it. Hopefully, she'll miss now. <laughs> no, she beat me. That is how it's done. Ah! Oh. I let go too early. Oh, too late now. Too late now. Off the edge. Stay focused. She beat me. Let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll Go on. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. We need to beat it this time, bro. Settles it all. Yes, Ah ha ha ha! Oh dear. I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. Ready and go and now. Oh, too fast, too fast. Oh, off the edge. Not too worry. Come back. I need to get these two in 50 now. Um, right, so we go for this one. Ready? Go. Come on. Come on. Yes. Excellent control there. 50 points. Come on. What's this? It's a box. It's a box. Yeah, a box is going to have it. Okay. You got me away. God, we need this. 
50 points. Oh man, it's a bit difficult. Oh, I've got it. We'll go away. Ready. Too early. Oh no. Well done. Damn it, man. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Maybe that could have gone a little bit better. Well done, First Vector. time. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Uh, glad you understand. I'm all in my own. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Uh, how big is Uganda? What does Uganda look like? Is magic the same as Uganda? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Okay, that's incredible. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Okay. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Okay, last question. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it ah, never seemed okay. intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Thank you. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course. You can use Akio on humans. A word, if you will. If you're so inclined. Yes, Professor? You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Awesome, so that's two classes done, two classes down. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Yes. Who's asking? Why are you asking? Samantha Dale, why are you asking? Hello, you wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale, I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Uh, it's kind of you to say it wasn't too challenging in a lesson. Well, we did lose, so it was challenging. So yeah. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Okay, new quest available. 
let's have a look all wander around let's check everywhere out then we'll end the episode there hello who's in here <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> the new water? Oh, wow. Nice. Very nice. I have no clue where I am. Where I'm going. I just love the fact that everywhere is explorable. Ghost! It's a ghost! <laughs> Nothing to the ghost. <laughs> oh, we're still going up. Wow. Yeah, and there we go. Indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Astronomy Tower. That's some students up here already. Look. <sighs> Sorry, didn't mean it. Oh, chest. Oh, level one lock. Oh, that must be the teacher. Why do you look like Mrs. Thingy? Mrs. Weasley. Yeah, you look like Mrs. Weasley. That's a bit sus. Up. Uh, dear, my dear Satyavati, you'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at Cambridge who conceded that they have in fact been incorrect in their understanding of meteor shocks. It seems that the Irish astronomy and British astronomy both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomy. All muggles, mind you, as far as I know, the papers calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbit as means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really? One can only imagine what they might do with an enchanted telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, I did feel that I had to continue using the pseudo pseudomine from the days as a gentleman scholar. Well, I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity. The reason irks me. I am so looking forward to our trip later this year to Jantar, Mantar. One adventure we shall have. I miss you, dear sister, and I do hope you are well. With love, Sutrita. Sutrita. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think that note was for somebody else and I've just taken it. Never mind. And we can still go up. No way. And it goes up again. I am intrigued to know where we are. And it still goes up. <laughs> Wow, this is amazing. Hey, Mr. Owl. It's a bit cold up here, you look like shivering. Wow, look at this. Right at the top of one of the towers, I'm guessing. Oh, and it still goes up. Hang on. We go up again. Do, 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 do. Check. This place out. It's the solar system. Ah, oh, people are flying around on one on ones on brooms. Can I use one of these? Can I use that one? No. Look at this. Check it out. Ah, oh, there's that village. That's where the shops and stuff are. There's the Quidditch. Nice. Let's have a look over this place. Wow, look at that. This is awesome. That's the train track. I wonder if we'll see the train go by. I wonder if it goes by every now and then. Um, did I? Yeah, I'll come up them stairs. Some of these stairs here then. Have a look. Oh, chest search. Forty-one coins. 
Got it. Play with. Play with. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I don't know if I've told you this, but this is awesome. She didn't fly past them. Oh, wow. We need to learn that. I think we'll do that next episode. And then we'll go over to the village over there where the shops and pubs and all that are. And we will get our new wand, our own wand, because apparently this is second hand. I want to jump over. <laughs> okay, let's go explore downstairs. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Okay, so we just fast travel back downstairs again, because I'm not travelling all the way down them stairs. Let's go, have a look. Did these doors open on their own? Yeah. Okay, so we're back outside. Where's Dobby? Dobby! Where's Dobby? Rebellion! You would be here somewhere. Ah! I'm gone. Someone's flashing here. Collect. Here we go. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of weaving on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumours to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cardigan, this is the most assuredly not meant to be the wiving of why, way, why, slain by a lively knight in spite of himself. Nice. That's two out of two for that. Challenge complete. Okay, what we got in here then? What's in it? Ah, okay. So there's a ghost teacher in this one. Right, ghost, do like ghost. Baltower Courtyard. We can't leave the Hogwarts. No. Humming, what are you doing? Yeah, I take it I can't leave Hogwarts just yet, so what am I missing? Next episode we'll carry on with the missions. We'll attend any classes if we need to, to and then we hopefully we'll go to Hogsmeade and we'll get ourselves a new wand and we'll get a broom what we can fly on. So if you've enjoyed this episode guys don't forget to like and subscribe, that would be really appreciated by myself, obviously, <laughs> and it would be absolutely amazing and I'd love to have you all on board for the journey. So as always guys, have a good day, have a good week, whatever you are doing. And I shall catch you all back here next episode. Cheers, guys.